Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of April 18th to April 24th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's see what your energy is for the week. All right, spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of cancer in regards to love for this week. First card is the Ten of Wands, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Justice card, the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Okay. So it does look like you're blocking your heart, Cancer, with the Two of Swords here. It looks like you, you have your arms across your, your chest here, protecting your heart. There's somebody that you're pushing away with the Seven of Wands. You're blocking them or pushing them away. Some of you just want to see what this person is going to do. Some of you want to see how this person will react with the Seven of Swords by you pushing them away. Um, this might be a little bit of a test with the Justice card for some of you. Tell me more about that spirit. Tell me about the Justice card. The Empress and the Hermit card. So you know your worth, you know your value, um, and you're not going to settle for anything less. Um, you might feel like this person, whoever you're dealing with, is not appreciating you or is not valuing you the way you deserve. You might feel like they're being unfair with you or they're playing games with you. What's the Seven of Swords, Spirit? The Nine of Cups and the Five of Swords. Yeah, like I said, some of you might feel like they're playing games with you or like they're um, they're being deceptive in some way. You might feel like this person blocked you or pushed you away and now you're doing the same in return. You're giving them a taste of their own medicine for some of you. Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Cups. Some of you are upset with this person. I'm actually feeling a little bit of possible feelings of being angry, upset, frustrated, or like um, even offended or disrespected. What's the Seven of Wands spirit? Wheel of Fortune, <clears throat> sorry, Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands. You might feel like this person was back and forth with you and you might feel like 
there was a repetitive cycle between you and this person that you didn't like? Page of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, some of, some of you want to know if this person will wake up. It's like you want to see if this person will wake up and um, some of you might be trying to give them a wake-up call. You might feel like they took you for granted and some of you are just pushing this person away to kind of show them that to show them that they can't keep using you you might feel like this person is very immature and some of you are waiting to see if this person will grow up with the seven of pentacles all right let's take a look at this person i'm curious what's going on with them Let's see what kind of energy are they um, bringing to the table. All right, spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of the person Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. First card is Five of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups in reverse, Six of Swords, and Moon. Okay. Five of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse. Well, it definitely worked, Cancer, whatever it is that you were doing, whatever it is that um, yeah, whatever it is that you were trying to do to to get this person to wake up, um, I see them definitely waking up, starting to wake up. Yeah, we have the ace of Pentacles. This is definitely someone who is seeing your worth a lot more than what they were seeing it before. I am actually sensing guilt with this person. There is an energy here with the Queen of Cups of someone who feels guilty or regretful, someone who is reevaluating their actions towards you or their behavior towards you um, and this is someone who wants to return back they want to they want to they want to put aside their ego with the moon in reverse this is someone who had an ego but i feel like they're ready to kind of let go of that ego This is someone who realizes that they want to have um, a happily ever after with you with the Ten of Cups. It does feel like that. It feels like a wake up call. What is the um, Five of Swords in reverse spirit? The Star. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person is hoping for a second chance. They want to have a reconciliation with you. What's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're ready to put in the work. They're ready to put in, put in the effort. Hmm. What's the Ace of Pentacles? 
Empress in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles upright. Yeah, they do have a lot of insecurities here with the Empress in reverse, so... Um, You know, that's the problem I feel with this person, Cancer, though. With the Empress in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, it's not a good sign because this can many times lead to a person doing the same thing all over again. You know? Because I feel like the change hasn't happened yet inside of themselves. This is someone who's who wants to change, but they want to change for you. They don't want to change, they're not doing it for themselves. And if you don't make the change for, for yourself, then it's just gonna happen again, you know? It's just a matter of time when you're just gonna repeat a, a cycle, or repeat a pattern. Because if you're not doing it for you, you're doing it to, um, to get some sort of gain from it. You know, and that's what this person wants. They want to gain um, an opportunity with you or a second opportunity with you. But that's not the right, um, that's not the right motive that you should have um, to make a change. You can't live for somebody else. You have to live for yourself, you know? And I feel like this person has like really, uh, like a low sense of self-worth. They have low self-worth. They have low self-esteem. And it almost looks like a codependency energy. Looks like this person is looking at you like they depend, like they depend on you. You know, like they depend on your, on your love, on your support, on your, um, on your care, on your company. You know what I mean? I feel like that's what they're looking for here. They miss you. They miss you and there's, there's a little bit of a neediness here. Or a clinginess or a codependency. So I feel like this is why they want to return back, you know, to kind of Feel, feel that emptiness but the point the pro but the problem is that is that you need to feel that emptiness you know on your own you can't um, you can't rely on somebody else to to do that for you because it's it's gonna be temporary The, the change has to come from within. And this is someone who's, who's very unhappy, you know, um, as an individual, as in, they're very unhappy as an individual. So um, they're definitely relying on you for that, for that happiness, to give them that happiness that they want with the 10 of cups. All right, Cancer, hopefully that made sense. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what are this person's real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.